Welcome to Exeron here in Germany. For the first time ever, they're allowing cameras inside to showcase to you their factory, which I think is one of those things we've been craving to see more of. These are discussionably one of the best machines on the planet. My friends inside will tell you that they are the best. Started in 1966, this was the foundation, but it was in 1978 where Exeron released its first independent product. So let's step inside where Adrian is waiting for us so we can learn more about the story, the history, and the procedures that go into such precision and quality around the world. Adrian, good yeah, to here see we you, are. my friend. Thank you Thank so you. much for allowing cameras into here. Thank I you. think this Thank might you. be the first time ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that. He's like, we're doing it, brother. Yes, we are. <laughs> Let's make this look good, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I know we want to do a little bit of a walkthrough. This is where you're putting everything together. I think it's important for everyone to understand German, German, German. Within, what, 100 kilometers, it is 80% of all your partners right here. So we That's need right. to, yeah. to, to kind of get into that as we start to walk. But maybe we start with... 1966 was the beginning, wasn't it? Yes, I founded the company Exxon was founded in, in 1966, and the first machine, the first machine was in 78. First but don't forget, the, the first machine is the EDM. EDM of machine is oh, you guys are brilliant erosion, only EDM. erosion. Yes, yes. I mean, we have more than 45 years experience with uh, eroding machine, and we work with the best people of the world of the war yeah. why why do you think adrian that since the beginning you guys wanted to be the highest quality on the planet why did you focus in that area i think this is a uh, it's like a soul of the company you know i mean i mean this is this is not this is not that we just it's, it's not a vision it's a dna i yeah. mean it's it's uh, it's incredible because i once I just asked research and development uh, department just to construct a machine which is not precise. And this is a very great question. I just wanted to, to save maybe some costs or something like that to, to go <laughs> to another market. And it is, this is a challenge for the guys to construct a machine who is not precise. Mm. So I think I understood, I understood, and I think this is a DNA of Exeron. Precision, precision and, and reliability is a DNA of Exeron. Yeah, yeah. I, would, I would agree based on what I've seen. Mm -hmm. and knowing your personality, I've seen, met some of your team as well. To walk away from a machine that wasn't perfect, that would almost be an embarrassment, right? Yeah, it, that's it would, right. It, it wouldn't, yeah. I don't think they would do it. I, I, don't, I, don't, <laughs> no, no. I don't think they'd ever walk away, honestly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think, I think this is like a topic. Yeah. A topic. Very, very, very topic. I mean, I mean, uh, I'm actually responsible also for the quality of the machines, and I uh, release each machine uh, for the customers, and it's incredible. It's incredible. It's a passion. You know, you can just feel the passion of the people, of the staff, to construct the machines. I mean, you can see them here. They are having fun. <laughs> well, they, they haven't signed waivers, so I'm not sure if we can actually show them or not, but they are definitely having fun. Oh, they waved at the yeah. camera. Maybe we're okay. Is a wave yeah. permission here in Germany? <laughs> okay, 1978 is the first year the machines yeah. were yeah. made, the first mm -hmm. independent, and that was EDM. And then you got into other machines as well, focusing on just true precision. I mean, nano, nano technology, yeah. right? Yeah, the ability yeah, to right. go... Yeah. and and. What I've seen, these mirror finishes off of your machine, no polishing, no secondhand work. You think by looking at it for someone who's a, a beginner, you think that's impossible. When you see some of the parts coming off your machines, they go, there's no way that that didn't get polished, but it is. That's, that's what your machines that's can do. I mean, do, 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 we have even the, 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 the highest challenge, the, 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 the challenge we have is to find, to find the right measurement machines the measurement methods. You know, it's a crazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, because there is limits. That's why you there have some, glasses, some limits. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's <laughs> right. And then the, the, Trying to look at those <laughs> measurements all day long. <laughs> that's right. But this is, uh, you can, you, you have to realize, I mean, how do you make measurements in the nanometer area? 
it's it's, it's, it's impossible. It's, yeah. I mean, it's it's a challenge. Yeah. It's a challenge, and sometimes it's it's this is the challenge, not to construct the machine, but to find the right process, the right process to produce. Yeah, and to, 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 to measure their results. And so yeah. we thank our metrology fans out there. Thank you for that, being able to measure something that is so precise. Everything starts, though, when I think about a high-quality machine, about the casting, about That's the base. Yeah. Yeah. And if we could, if our camera guy could give a quick flash to our left, but don't show too much, don't show too much. It is really just a flash because we're not allowed to show the details, but what you have creates that vibration dampening. It's all made in one piece. You make sure that it's surgically precise, and you even have a little bit of cooling involved as well, yeah, yeah, which I'm not sure if we're allowed to talk about or not, but it's unique. Yeah, this is unique. Uh, we have a um, temperature control concept in all our machines, uh, even even in, in EDM in EDM area. Uh, we have a very technological uh, cool concept, and uh, I mean, I just can show you that. And maybe if you want, you can see it and can we? Mary. <laughs> yes, that's all. No, done, no. done. That's all you get. <laughs> At least and he shows you a little bit, right? That's, that counts. But uh, that's right. I mean, only only in this in this way we get the precision we are offering to our customers, and and we just we don't just sales machine to sales machine. We start a relationship with our customers, so you have to be able to to deliver the machine because you are going to have contact with this customer maybe in the next 10, 20, 30 years, mm -hmm. you know, so you have to, you have to deliver them very good products. Uh, and this is the beginning, as you said, yeah. this is the beginning. I mean, the beginning is an R and D uh, so uh, department. But, let's give but them some credit a, too, right? The but, and, team. and we develop together with our suppliers. And as you said, uh, our suppliers are really, really local supplier so we have the possibility not only to to be in a direct contact but to even to talk german together mm -hmm. you know each other and this is this is a very very important thing yeah yeah very i important. agree uh, and and going back to all german all precision uh, i have conversations i'm gonna give you a pet peeve of mine and and the pet peeve means what frustrates me sometimes is when some folks out there think, well, if I save a couple of dollars here and there, I can maybe do some similar work here and there. If I do maybe some secondary operations here, I can save a little money on the... This is my pet peeve because your machines can do all of it, right? Yeah, that's we have right. another video out there for you guys. I You should watch it. That talks about a dual machine, the ability to cut everything from your soft materials to your super alloys to your graphites and even grinding. And that even saves grinding. floor space. It saves time. It saves if you have to buy four machines to do all those operations. So my point is, one of my frustrations is if I save a little money here, it'll be okay later. Uh -uh. We have a conversation of 70% savings on tool that's life. Right, that's and that's right. just one conversation of hundreds that are out there about what happens when we invest in quality. Yeah, I mean, you have to understand if you, if our customers are now able to save 70% of the tool cost, uh, and, and, and you, you make a, um, the calculation on your investment, so then you have a, a return on investment and it's like... No time. Yeah, no yeah. time, no time, no time. It's, it's, it's a, a very, very nice, a very nice thing we are offering now to the market. Uh, it's difficult to show, but I think, I think, which could be successful right now in the world, then it has to have an Exeron because we give you the solution not only for a short time but a middle and long term and uh, it's what do you want I mean it's it's easy it's yeah. easy to make a calculation yeah, you mentioned right. relationships 10 years 20 Absolutely. years 30 years into the future Absolutely, so speaking yeah. of the future uh, as we start to come to the the end of our tour here Adrian is the future are you what are you developing what are you excited about can you share anything any can i pull any secrets out of that mind of yours that you're willing to share to everyone on camera i flew all the way to germany for you i have a little bit of jet lag i can i, I should be able to get a little <laughs> yeah, bit yeah. of the future right yeah, yeah, of course of course <laughs> well we think it, always in the future you know i mean that what what we are 
now offering in the market or delivering, it's what we actually thought in that, a couple of years ago. So um, the future, the future is in the precision and automation. Definitely, automation. definitely. I mean, you have to have a, you have to reduce your, your quality cost. You have to reduce the quality cost. You have to reduce your maintenance cost and uh, to make your return investment more, more, more attractive. So, uh, and there is a new, really new industries which are developing also processes with us. So the challenge is as we develop together with customers. So we have the two strategies. I mean, it's uh, like a market pool, which we do in maybe 70, 60% of, of, the, of the development. And uh, the other 30, 40% is like technology push. So, but for us, it's very important to understand the customers. What do they want to do? What do they want to get? Which product, which industry they are delivering? And uh, this is this is our future uh, is about precision, about surfaces, surfaces, about maybe energy, maybe energy, and and what the customer is our future. And uh, nowadays we develop together with I told you with one of the of the best uh, scientists in the world. Uh, or a generator, a generator has a very, very high technology. Uh, this is, we work with a guy which uh, it was one of the pioneers of the uh, eroding process. Uh, we work together with them and we are doing that every day, every day. Uh, so there is a, some news but i don't don't want to be no, no, uh, very uh uh i have to try though, with that right? because, I have to try. because <laughs> <laughs> so be be a little bit patient and uh, as soon as we can show something that we are very excited very excited to show our news or um new developments to the world yeah, yeah super super well you have to be patient like me i tried for you guys i'm sorry we got as much as we could but this is the past how it started the foundation. This is the present precision, making sure that you're taking care of 70% tool savings. If you like that, give these guys a call. Yeah. And the future, always developing with partners. I know the YCM Alliance in the US loves the open-mindedness of the folks here at Exeron to work with their customers and develop procedures that have never been done before to give the highest quality parts on the planet. Thank you all for watching, Adrian. Thank you so much thank you, for Tony. allowing us. Thank you, Should I say here. mucho gusto y dankeschön? El gusto es mio. <laughs> Bitte schön. Yes. So we'll just English, German, yeah. and Spanish today. Thank you. Gracias y dankeschön. Uh, see you again soon.